In this project recruiting a voice kit with your Raspberry Pi, I chat and help people. The Google AIY voice kit for the Raspberry Pi is a great way to bring do-it-yourself AI to your maker projects. The kit has everything you need to create your own smart home assistant. There's no soldering required and the kit includes step-by-step -step instructions so it's easy to put together. To give this project more personality, we designed our enclosure to look like Adabot. We 3D printed the case in wood filament to give our project more texture. This PLA-based material is mixed with actual wood fibers and easily prints without any special settings. A deburring tool is great for removing brims from the bottom of 3D printed parts. This leaves you with a clean edge, making it smooth to the touch. We used a variety of sandpaper to smooth out the surface. Different grits of sandpaper gives you different degrees of smoothness. This is a laborious process that takes both time and patience. Wood stain can help give color to your models and helps the surface appear more like actual wood. To give this part more of a wood grain like texture, we applied light strokes across the surface. After applying the first coat, a light bit of sanding can help knock down the contrast so the tones appear more even. Repeating this process several times gives the surface an aged look while smoothing out any rough areas. Using different colored stains can help add shadows and highlights, which brings more interest to the surface detail. We made sure to print several copies so we could test different colors and sanding techniques. Be sure to wear proper safety gear to avoid dust, fumes, and other potentially harmful chemicals. The Raspberry Pi is installed to the bottom cover and secured with machine screws. The voice hat is designed to fit on top of the Pi. Standoffs prevent the header pins from bending while installing it in place. Just firmly press the headers to fully seat the voice hat on top of the Pi's header. To connect the speaker, the pre tinned wires can be inserted and secured to the screw terminal block. The speaker is mounted inside the case using another set of machine screws. These standoffs were designed to allow the screws to be fastened at an angle. The bottom cover is designed to snap fit and lock onto the enclosure. The PCB with the microphone is installed to the top cover so the audio can be easily detected. The arcade button is fastened to the top of the mounting hole making it easily accessible. All of the connections plug into the respective connectors, making this really easy to put together. It's a good idea to adjust the wires so they're neatly fitted inside the case before closing it up. The top cover is installed just like the bottom cover. The ears are separate pieces that snap fit onto the side of the enclosure with these little pegs. The micro SD card is installed through the cutout on the side of the case. To set up the software, you'll need to burn the ready-to-go disk image and follow the included guide. It features several demos and code examples, so it's easy to modify scripts for making custom triggers and actions. I feel much better inside here than a cardboard box. So if you want to build your own, be sure to check out the guide on the Adafruit learning system. Don't forget to subscribe for more DIY projects from Adafruit. If you want a freestyle, my friend has you covered. <laughs>